Hey, Jim Creel with Wild Horses here. Um, I'm going to make my best attempt to explain to you all about sea bushings and how they sometimes factor into the whole bronco lean problem. So let me start by just showing you a sea bushing. Maybe we think this is simple and really it is simple, but there's some things you need to know about it that kind of connect all the dots together. So we've all seen a Bronco or Ford sea bushing and it says rear bottom or if we flip it over it says in this case front bottom seven degree offset. Okay what I'm going to show you is easiest to see on a seven degree bushing it becomes harder to see on the four degree and even harder on the two degree um, but most of the time when we're talking bronco lean we're talking two and a half three and a half four and a half five and a half inch lifts so let me show you what makes the top the top and the bottom the bottom and this is important because i remember about 20 years ago one of our sea bushing manufacturers actually molded the bushings upside down because the tooling had multiple pieces and it could actually be spun 180 degrees and so where it said bottom the bottom was actually the top and the top was actually the bottom so what is the bottom actually all about I'm hoping you can see this in the video and I think you can right there what I'm showing you here this is the bottom of a sea bushing. You see this lip? It rises up. This would go on the front. This is the front bottom. And this lip rises up. If we look at it up here at the top, try to show you, it's actually sunken down into this area here. Okay? And the whole idea, when you put this together, is to rotate the front end backwards to give you the caster that you need. So this be in the front, whoop, that be in the front, this bushing would be the bottom. And if you kind of follow in what I'm trying to show you here, you'd see how if it's installed correctly, it's rotating the axle backwards when you put it in. So, people call, hey, I got Bronco lean. Are you sure the sea bushings are in right? And how do you tell on the vehicle? And let's use some simple scenarios like a three and a half inch lift with seven degree bushings. I'm going to try to take this video camera right over to the Bronco and show you this. Hopefully, this will work out. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is a fr my front bushing. It's a seven degree. You can see this urethane right here is raised up. It's raised up. That's the front. It's going to go in the front. In the back here, you can't really see it, but it's sunken in to the bushing. It's rotating the front end backwards. It's giving you the caster that you need for the vehicle to go down the road straight. Now, I'm hoping you're getting all this. Let's do it one more way. Here's a C cap. This happens to be from a dual shock say 78, 79 Bronco, for instance. Okay, that's installed. Once again, you guys can see that raised lip right here. This is raised up. The raised portion is in the front. Okay, in other words, if you come and you're inspecting that Bronco or that F-150, and you got the raised portion at the front on the top, it's in upside down. Now, if you're really into tweaking this stuff, you may want it upside down, but most of the time you don't. So most of the time it's just better 
following the directions that are right on the bushing, front bottom seven degree offset. Okay, it's amazing how many Broncos come in here with an inch and a half, two inch lean. We go out there and look at them and one bushing has been installed upside down. Uh, hopefully that's gonna help somebody today. Uh, it's just a way to go out there and inspect your rig without having to rip it apart. And uh, of course you can always email us a question, sales at wildhorses4x4.com. Uh, appreciate you watching, thank you.